Pesistratus was the tyrant of Athens from 561 to 527 BC. This puts him just after the reforms of Solon um, and just before the democratic revolution in Athens. He was an early populist ruler who broke the oligarchic control of Athens and is credited with enforcing Solon's codes. At the time he came to power, three factions were vying for political control of Athens. These were the plainsmen, led by Lycurgus, the coastal men, led by Megacles, and Pesistratus was the leader of the hillmen, the poorest class. The plainsmen were largely the aristocracy, as they had access to the best land. The coastal men were a sort of middle class, um, and recently made their money from trade and from fishing. The people in the hills had the worst land for farming, and therefore were the poorest. Due to their poverty, many of the hillmen had moved into Athens from the hinterland. Pesistratus leveraged this support uh, and after staging an attack on himself, which he used as an excuse to have a bodyguard inside the city, he then used this bodyguard to seize the Acropolis and sideline Megakes and Lycurgus. However, all this did was briefly force the other two factions to converge and then force him into exile. Pesistratus uh, then spent his time in Thebes Argos and Euboea, building up his force, most notably a unit of Scythian archers, and he used these forces to re-establish himself as tyrant of Athens after defeating the Athenian force. Pesistratus then sent hostages of leading families to sit with his friend in the tyrant of Naxos, and then maintained his Scythian bodyguards as a means of successfully staying in power. Despite being a tyrant, Pesistratus was generally well liked by the lower middle classes, as he used them as a ballast against the oligarchs. His reign developed Athens culturally and economically. He provided loans to small farmers and to artisans um, as a means to increase the Athenian middle class and maintain their loyalty. He also built an aqueduct, one of the first in Athens' existence, and sponsored the state Dionysia festival. Isistratus also began colonial missions into the Black Sea and Hellespont, which provided essential grain for the growing Athenian population. This would also prove vital in Athenians' later am imperial ambitions.